100th anniversary. This is going to become your partner in crime in the kitchen. Why? Because everything from getting fresh grated Parmesan cheese to making your own personalized flavored whipped creams and cream cheeses and sour creams, get your soups going, make your sauces. You can make peanut butter. You can make hummus. You'll use it, I would say, if not every day, multiple days during the week, and you're saving some nice money. This is from KitchenAid. They make durable, easy to use, fantastic products that make our food taste better and make us happy because they're easy and less work for us. Here are your colors, contour silver, five cup capacity that gives us 40% more chopping capacity than the three and a half cup does. And our QVC2 big deal price is lower than what you'll find three and a half cup capacity at. Contour Silver, the red was popular for us in the last hour. We also have it for you in black. And then down in front, we have it for you in the white. Those four colors you can find elsewhere from KitchenAid. We've got four you won't find anywhere else. Boysenberry, our friend Genevieve called in earlier. She's got the stand mixer in purple and she said she was very excited. She already has a spot on her counter for this guy. Down in front, if you love yellow, this is what we're calling majestic yellow. It's like a really pretty buttercup. Beautiful crystal blue, bright, bold, think Mediterranean, and then finally a little retro action here in the green apple. What you're getting is value. What you're getting is the ability to puree, to chop, to whisk, to mix. All the pieces come together should be about $59 and change. We have it for you for less than $37, and it's on easy pay that's five monthly payments of $7.40. You will use this all year round for all kinds of things. And Tina Verrilli's back and she's got some great ideas. And Tina Verrilli, award winner, I wrote it down, 2012 <laughs> National Pillsbury Recipe Champ. You're part of the KitchenAid team. You are a busy mom. And you said you love this size specifically. I do. I love this size. I use it all the time in the kitchen because it's lightweight. It's easy to use. It's easy to clean. The bowl goes in the dishwasher. It's just a no-brainer. Like you said, especially for those things like chopping onions, chopping garlic. And onions are why everyone should have a chopper because <laughs> if you've ever teared up chopping an onion, this takes the pain out of it, literally. Mm -hmm. It certainly does. Oh, and look good. at what a great job it does with fresh Parmesan cheese. We added a pour spout. We added a handle. We added 40% more capacity. And it just, you know, it's fun to use because it's quick and easy. You'll be thrilled with the results that you get. Just look at what a great job it did with that wedge of hard, mm. fresh Parmesan cheese. So it's more economical to buy that wedge than just chop it up into about inch, you know, inch pieces. One inch pieces, okay. And pop it in there. I do like it to have a little chill on it whenever okay. I'm chopping up my cheeses. Pop that in like a lock and lock container or a jar and you're good all week long with fresh Parmesan. You and know, not only is it economical, it tastes better. It, it does. Honestly, several years ago, I, I was introduced to the theory, I don't know why I didn't think of it beforehand, to get the cheese and then grate yourself. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this will make, if you do this with a little breadcrumbs, which you can also do in here, oh, yeah. excellent for chicken. Mm -hmm. But I love to put Parmesan cheese in soups mm -hmm. and sprinkle in, you know, I want to make meatballs tomorrow night, sprinkle in a little bit in yes. there. And you can custom it's all in the touch of the button so you can get it all the same size That's and the right. exact size you need it to be. Exactly. And when you're done, it goes in the dishwasher. All those pieces except for the base go right in the dishwasher. <laughs> so let me take you on a little tour okay. and show you how it all works. So when you get it out of the box, it's going to come all packed up. Both the blades stack inside so it's super great. You don't need any kind of special container. Um, it has this awesome cord wrap where the cord slides right into this groove here on the side. It's the smartest cord wrap I've ever seen. Sometimes it just thrills you and it's in the details. It's all the little things all add up. Mm -hmm. So inside you're gonna have your adapter and this is your whisking blade. It does look like a hat, like a you bit said like early. Well, it's almost Halloween, that's what I was saying. But thinking. wait till you see how it makes whipped cream oh. in less than 30 seconds. Let me just say that I don't even like whipped cream. Like, I don't like the stuff you buy at the store. Mm -hmm. Tina made whipped cream earlier. <laughs> I, I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. <laughs> so this is your stainless steel multi-purpose blade or your chopping blade. And this is the adapter that you use for both of them. So your bowl here is five cup capacity. BPA free, dishwasher safe, 
core spout handle and these little smart grooves on this inside here. I've never mm -hmm. talked about those before. Oh. They help to move the ingre ingredients into the blade. So there's a purpose for them. There is a purpose. Got it. So smart. It takes a village, even, even in the chopper right here. That's right. So this is what the base looks like. When you get home, there'll be a little like locking diagram here that'll show you how to work it. But it's so simple, you don't even really need that. Well, and I'll tell you what, all these pieces should be 59 and change. We have it for less than 37. So take your bowl with the handle toward the front and just slide it righty tighty mm -hmm. until it locks into place. Then you're going to put in your adapter and we're going to make a whipped cream here. So okay. I'm just going to put on the whisking accessory so that it drops down in. When it comes time to put the lid on, this is actually, do you see how this is kind of has like a lever in there? Um, this does not come apart. Okay. I just pop it right into Got the it. dishwasher like that and you just place it in front and just slide it into position. And the earlier I was giving it too much elbow grease, it is just a gentle touch, guys. Don't be a bull in a china shop like I was. Right. <laughs> I think sometimes slide it. Oh, people, oh, that was good catch. That I was think good sometimes catch. people press too hard. That's there. what I was doing. Just so slide just slide it. her right in there. There you go. And then you so get cooking. We're going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. You want that to be cold. And we're going to just start whisking that for all about 10 these, seconds. All these recipes are on Tina's Facebook page, Tina Verrilli KitchenAid on QVC. So I'm definitely going to be visiting there after the show later when I'm trying to go to sleep. So we make sweet whipped creams all the time. Mm -hmm. So this is a savory whipped cream with horseradish in it. So you've had horseradish sauce before. Sometimes you buy it in a jar. Mm -hmm. It's great with ham. It's great with roast beef. It can the, also be really good on a sandwich. Like the oh, day after Thanksgiving yeah. turkey <gasps> sandwiches. Oh, it's what I'm talking about. I am getting some of that aroma where it just kind of hits your sinuses. Yeah, it's it's so good. So then you just hold it down. So this works as a pulsing or hold it down for continuous action. You can look through the window in the top and it's done already. That was that easy. And here's the thing, instead of buying it at the store and buying it in a jar, you know exactly what you're putting in there. You can customize the flavor. You can customize the texture. It's the press of a button and it's the smile on the faces of every person sitting at that table and sneaking in late night to make the sandwiches oh, the day yes. after Christmas and too. Just look, I've never seen whipped cream that just had this luscious texture it's just delicious it's almost like you know like custardy imagine that on a mm. warm steaming baked potato just out of the oven sprinkled with a little bit of bacon maybe some shredded oh. cheddar cheese you know your mouth is watering right. and you can get this today for less than 37 dollars how about a little bacon whipped cream Oh, bacon makes every. Can we do a bacon and avocado whipped cream? Oh, that sounds so good. This is what happens, and we were talking about this in the last hour. How many times are you going into the kitchen and just that kind of blank stare, like mm -hmm. I just, I'm tired of the same things. I don't know what I want to mm -hmm. make for dinner. Everybody's sick of it. This helps you get creative. This reinvigorates the juices. We've come up with so many different ideas right. in the last hour or so. Have fun with cooking, and here's the thing. Life is short and too busy. Let KitchenAid do the work for you. And that's the best part of this whole thing. So here we're making a walnut arugula pesto. If you've never made pesto with arugula, I love it because it doesn't oxidize. Oh. Did you ever have a basil pesto that kind of turned brown yes. on you? That's that oxidation. And you have to pick all the little basil leaves off the plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arugula is a lot easier. It I is. love the flavor of arugula too. It is. And that little bit of a spice makes all the difference in the world. So this is great. It has two speeds in the front. You can hear that change. So that's mm -hmm. the chopping speed. That's that puree speed. We have that drizzle basin up in the top in case you want to thin out your mixture or you want to emulsify, you can add in there. I'm checking the progress here in the window. Remember, all the texture control is right here with a press of my thumb. And look at that, we have gorgeous, gorgeous arugula walnut pesto, just so quick. And it's so much more economical to make this yourself. You so know, let's just put a dollop on that pasta there with some of our freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Oh. I'm just losing my concentration. This all smells so good, <laughs> Tina. And what I really like is that it's easy. And instead of getting in there with the mortar and pestle and breaking a oh, sweat and yes. your arm gets tired, you put it all into one dishwasher friendly, five cup capacity bowl. You do your mixing, you pour it on the food, dinner's ready and you feel really 
really good because you've accomplished, because you've made people happy, and because you did it yourself. In an item that's seven by five by 10, it's honestly about the size of like my grandmother's old school yes. coffee percolator. Here's the contour silver, empire red. We have it for you in black, also available in white. These are some of our classic KitchenAid colors. Then we have colors you won't find anywhere else. Boysenberry, if you love purple, if you love yellow, check out the Majestic Yellow. It's so, so creamy and buttery. Butter makes everything better, even in a color. Uh, we have it for you in crystal blue, and then finally available for us in that great green apple. All the blades to combined, getting the base and the five cup capacity, this should be $59 and change. Instead, it's less than 37 and it's on five easy payments. That means if you wanna pick up one for you and one is a gift, you're looking at easy pay that's like what, 15, 16 bucks a month for five months. Anybody who opens a KitchenAid is gonna know, number one, it's a great quality gift. Then you start to use it, and I think even like Elise, Ivy and I were joking, I know Elise doesn't love to cook. Mm -hmm. This is something that I think could get her excited and help her get more creative, and I think more confident in the kitchen, too. And just too. take those baby steps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna be successful, because it's right. her, it kinda like holds your hand in the kitchen, and it's fun to use. So I do this all the time, whether it's you know, all full of onions or all full of garlic. Mm -hmm. Here I have my carrot, my celery, my onions, and you can really take it to whatever texture that you want. Sometimes I even take it to kind of a puree texture, mm. you know, to hide the veggies from the kids. I got it. And look at the beautiful texture. You it's, can even get that pureed and hide it like in a marinara sauce. It will just give a nice texture to the marinara sauce, maybe a little sweetness, but the kids don't have to know there's vegetables. That's right, and how long would that take you to <laughs> chop all that by hand? Well, and when you do it by hand, it's so difficult and just frustrating if you're trying to get everything the same size, the mm -hmm. same piece. This is what the KitchenAid does, and by the, the fact that you can see down through the lid and all the way around the sides means you can keep a close watch and so you know exactly when it's the size that you're looking for. Exactly. I love nice. it. And then pop it in the dishwasher. So, so simple, and instead of <laughs> almost 60 bucks, it's less than 37, which I also like because this is the time of year we're spending more money because the holidays are coming. <laughs> so here I'm using that multi multi-purpose blade and this is a pie crust and I hadn't even thought of the idea. You got the idea from somebody on QVC.com, right? They asked, can I make a pie crust? So I tested it out and you sure can make a single pie crust, enough for like a bottom crust for your nice. pecan pie, your pumpkin pie. So I put in my dry ingredients using the multi-purpose blade. Then you're gonna add your cubed up butter and shortening and you want that to be nice and cold. Okay. So I just put those in and then we're gonna pulse until this makes like a sandy texture mm. and you have just a few little nuggets of butter and shortening that are gonna give you those flaky pockets of steamy goodness in your pie crust. So okay, just we like pulse, pulse, pulse. It does that cutting in. Our grandmothers did this with two knives. I think of the time and of the energy, mm -hmm. and that's two more pieces that you would have to wash by hand, because I don't put my good knives in the dishwasher. I hand wash those. Mm -hmm. All of these pieces are going right in the dishwasher. So this is the perfect texture. It's sandy, and there's a few little nuggets of butter in mm. there. That's where you're gonna get all that yummy flakiness. Yummy. So we're gonna add some cold water. I'm gonna start with about half of this mm -hmm. and pulse it in, and then we're gonna add some more. You don't want it to come together like a ball of pizza dough. No. You want it to be somewhat shaggy. You wanna leave some air in there to kind of let it do its thing once it comes together. Add the rest. So that's about a quarter cup. Okay. Depending on the humidity, sometimes you need more, sometimes you need less. Now I'm just gonna run it, and that's about perfect. You want it to be kind of gnarly like that. Nice. And then we're gonna take that out. I have some plastic wrap here on my counter. Just take the dough out and scrape out every last little yummy bit. K49672, you get to try it for $7.40. And then you just want to press it together. I'm so excited. Form about it this. into a disc, put it in the refrigerator so it's going to like fully hydrate. The butter's going to firm up so that you can roll it out really nicely. And you're going to make homemade pie crust, homemade dough. 
Some people just like the pie crust, mm -hmm. so they'll just almost make like pie crust cookies with is it. Is it wrong that I think that the crust <laughs> is my favorite part of a pie? <laughs> Honest to goodness, and we did not discuss that earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm a crust girl if you want to mm -hmm. know the truth. What I like is that you can do it yourself, and you don't have to get out big bowls that you don't have room in the dishwasher for. Right. You don't have to use your wooden spoons that we don't put in the dishwasher. This whole thing goes in the dishwasher. It's easy, it's fast, you see it as it's going so you can kind of slow it down mm -hmm. or speed it up. Get it today because the price is going to go up at the end of the day tomorrow.